All right, next up would be your diet. Your diet just isn't productive. Like if you have a great workout, but your diet's terrible, it's going to be really hard to get good results. Now, you'll improve your fitness somewhat just because you're working out. You may build a little bit of muscle just because you're working out. But, you know, if you're not feeding yourself enough protein, mm -hmm. enough calories or too little calories, or you have a nutrient deficiency, like your body's not going to try to to adapt and improve its performance and strength. And it's just not going to want to. It's going to be very, very difficult, especially with fat loss. When it comes to fat loss, if your, your workout could be amazing, if your diet's terrible, you ain't going to leave, you ain't losing any body fat. Good luck. You, you can, you're not going to work it off through work. It's just not going to happen. It's too easy to eat calories and it's a lot of work to try to burn them. So look at your diet as well. Now you don't have to have a perfect diet, but again, if it's nothing's working, I, here's the places I would look to first. One, are you eating adequate protein? What does that look like? Close to about a gram of protein per pound of body weight. Number two, look at your diet. Am I eating more than I should? If, if you are, you're not going to get leaner. How do I figure that out? Track your, your diet for a couple weeks. Look at your average. And then if you want to lose body fat, cut your calories from there. If you want to gain weight, then add calories from there. But with, without a productive diet, your workout's not going to do much for you. Of all. all the things that we're talking about today, this one is the most challenging. And the reason why I find this one the most challenging is most people go to the gym because they want to lose body fat. That's the number one goal for people that, that start working out. Okay, we've now convinced them that lifting weights is one of the best ways for them to get in shape. It's what's going to speed your metabolism up. It's what's going to give you this firm tone, whatever look you 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 say you want. That's how you're going to shape and sculpt the body. Uh, okay, so I'm convinced it's I'm supposed to lift weights. That's one of the best ways to do it. But then you also want to lose body fat, so you know you need to eat in a caloric deficit. So what ends up happening to a lot of people that are that are stalling with progress is they're they're eating in a caloric deficit, but then they're not hitting their protein intake. And so what's happening is the body is adapting and it's losing weight on the scale, but at the same ratio, it's losing fat. It's also losing muscle. So then they're not seeing the body composition change or the body fat percentage change that they would like to see. So they keep testing their body fat and their body fat is staying stagnant or sometimes even going up and they're scratching their head going like, this makes no sense. I'm eating so clean. I'm not, I'm, I'm eating low calorie. I'm training three to four days a week. And yet my body fat percentage is staying the same or even going up. And a lot of times that's because they're not eating adequate protein to the point mm -hmm. you were making, Sal, Why also being in a caloric deficit and then strength training. You know, your strength training, you're sending a signal to the body that it needs to build muscle so that it can overcome the next time you, you, you do that stress again. But then you're under eating on calories and protein. It's a competing signal. And so you see people stall out here a lot. That's right. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's so hardwired. Like this is something that, uh, you know, you have to eat every single day. You know, this is something that you carry with you your entire life. And to, to make those adjustments, a lot of times we can easily fool ourselves that we're doing good uh, or we're making these, these adjustments, but it's not as clearly visible as it is when I go to the gym and I do this work and this is something new I'm taking on, but changing something that's really hardwired in you, that takes, you know, a whole lot of extra effort. Totally. Totally. 